Good afternoon, everyone. I am Herbert Villa. I work for EDD here at the Workforce Resource Center in Santa Maria. I've been here for a few different years, and I'm going to be talking about Cal jobs today. So now that California has reopened following the pandemic, the department recently announced that on July 11th of this month, um, of this year, excuse me, Californians receiving unemployment benefits should be looking for work to maintain their eligibility. EDD has posted fact sheets about this requirement in several different languages on the website. If you guys want to refer to the edd.ca.gov for more information on the returning to work portion of the EDD website. So Cal Jobs will play an important part in helping folks trying to get back into the workforce and having a resume uploaded and viewable by employers will be a requirement for any new UI applicants who file new claims during this month, as well as going forward, as well as old claimants might be uh, receiving notification of that requirement as well. So today's work workshop will focus on the features of Cal Jobs. Okay, so we'll talk about what is it, what is Cal Jobs? We'll talk about features of the system, and then we'll talk about logging in and retrieving your username and password for those of you out there who might not have logged into Cal Jobs in, in quite a while and find that you don't remember your username or your password. Okay, so what is Cal Jobs? It's a system designed for you, the job seekers, to become job ready and employers to seek potential candidates. Cal Jobs has many features built into it. You can do job searches, set up a virtual recruiter, like similar to what you would get in Indeed or Monster. Um, you can create different kinds of resumes, for example, a chronological, a functional, and other different types of resumes. And you can also do uh, research on the labor market to see if your occupation is in demand or in decline. You can also look up workshops just at, like this Cal Jobs workshop is available every Monday at 10 a.m. And you can find out information on workshops throughout the state of California as well in Cal Jobs. You can also seek school and training and employers can also post job opportunities for free in Cal Jobs and seek potential candidates through their resume and background information. So Cal Jobs has gone through some changes as it can be noted from the login page. Um, the homepage is a little bit different, but as you scroll down, you can find um, jobs easily using the search engine in the center of the page. But in order to apply for a lot of different types of jobs, you definitely need to be logged in. Notice the sign in box at the top right hand side of the screen. A great key in Cal Jobs is that you can do work searches in several different ways, as noted by the tabs across the top of the screen here. You can do it through quick, advanced, intelligent, employer, education, using your resume, and also by job order number that would be provided by the employer. Here you have options to enter desired information, and for our veterans, which who are a priority in Cal Jobs, there's a function where you can see how your skills in the military transition to civilian life. Once you've found a job that interests you, you can hit save at the bottom of the screen. And once you do that, the system will take you to this virtual recruiter screen. Here, you can have the system run a sweep of job opportunities in the field of work you're seeking. It can be set up to run on a daily basis, which is what I would definitely recommend, um, a weekly or a monthly basis. You'll receive alerts on the message center in Cal Jobs, and you can have it um, sent also to your personal email. You can set a timeline of how long you want the system to run this, and you can make the virtual recruiter for different types of jobs. So if you're applying for several different types of occupations, you can save and set up a virtual recruiter for each occupation that you like. Background information. You'll find the background section of your Cal Jobs account. Um, make sure that you fill out this section completely, and that way you can stand out to employers because employers can search you um, through your education history, employment history, licenses that, that you might possess, certificates, um, trainings you might have done, um, as well as job skills. The background information also populates into the resume section of Cal Jobs, so it'll make building a new resume that much easier. In Cal Jobs, the, op the opportunity to create a resume. 
several different types of resumes. In fact, when you're creating a resume, you have the options of making a chronological resume where you can post your information um, kind of in order, um, or you can do a functional resume where you can be more specific about a certain occupation and focus more on the skills um, that you have. And then you can create skill type resumes um, in different formats. So let's just say you spent some time as a carpenter as well as an electrician you can do a functional resume for each one and then have that in Cal Jobs. And I think at any given time, you can have up to 15 different resumes in Cal Jobs and you can do different ones for um, different occupations that you might be targeting. Labor market information, you can find that um, information about the labor market in Cal jobs. Like for example, the unemployment rate in California is currently at 7.9%. Um, the labor market section of Cal jobs contains a lot of helpful information about the job outlook in each one of the um, different jobs throughout the state, uh, what skills are required to um, obtain employment in these jobs, what schooling and what the prevailing wage is um, by comparison um, through each county throughout California. So let's just say you recently relocated to Santa Barbara County, but you worked in the Bay Area prior in Contra Costa County, you can compare what your wage in Contra Costa County is for that same job as it would be here in Santa Barbara County. In your dashboard section, you can find a section um, with this labor market information, as well as on the home page when you scroll all the way down, the labor market information is available as well there too. In your dashboard, once you log in, you have each one of these sections, which I like to call widgets. Each one of these widgets are uh, movable. So if you can drag and drop in the aqua section of each one of these widgets, you can move them depending on which widget is most important for, to you um, on your home page. So for example, the messages on the left you see on the screen here, it's gonna be a really important one, especially if you set up a virtual recruiter, you can find all your unread messages there by clicking on the number three in this example of the, of the slide um, to find out what those messages are. Um, but the uh, I'd like to point out the paths section in one of these widgets. Within that section, you can do assessments uh, of your job skills, your personal skills, your tools and technology skills, your work interests and your work values. I like to think of it as like the assessments you would take at the career center in your high school when you were deciding what you wanted to do when you uh, graduated. Um, these types of assessments are available. They're good if you were interested in making a transition out of your current job to something a little bit different. You can use these assessments um, based on your interests and your skills to uh, figure out what types of jobs might be a good fit for you in the future. You can also find in that path section, this 10 steps that you can follow on the path to a new job. So if you noticed across the, the top of the page from choosing your career all the way to you've got the job, each one of those sections provides helpful information on each step of the job search process that might provide some helpful tips and information for you as you're progressing through the, the job search process, beginning with the paths section um, and helping you choose your career or your occupation. As I mentioned before, um, you can also find the message center. Um, that's where you're going to look if you set up a virtual recruiter or if there are any other um, helpful information uh, from employers um, that might be looking for you um, and wanting to send you messages about current job post postings at their organizations. Okay. Once you click on each one of the messages, like for example, the three, um, this is what the message center looks like. It's kind of similar to um, an email. Um, all messages come from the postmaster, which is the um, director within the CalJobs portal, and then um, the subject will tell you what's going on with each one of those messages, and then you can view each one at a time, and then it has inbox information there on the left-hand side, similar to what an email setup would look like, but this is also available inside of CalJobs, um, and especially important when you've set up virtual recruiters for the jobs that you've saved. Okay. In Cal Jobs, you can also find job fairs and workshops in our area. So, as I mentioned earlier, we do a Cal Jobs workshop every um, Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning. And you can find that easily in Cal Jobs just by scrolling down on the homepage 
and then clicking on this find job fairs and workshops in your area. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, we haven't had a lot of local job fairs, but we're anticipating that those will pick up in the future. Um, but for now, lots of workshops are available virtually, so you can browse workshops in different regions all throughout California. We are the LA coastal region, so um, in order to find uh, that CalJobs workshop on Mondays, you would click on the Co LA coastal region section, and this was what it would look like when it came up. It'll have a detailed description of each one of the um, different workshops that's available and how you would uh, get registered for the workshop and who the contact person and what date and time each of the workshop is and where it's going to be located. And like I say right now, um, there's very few in-person workshops going on. So I would scroll around the different areas of California and look to see if there's any workshops on topics that might interest you when it comes to your job search. And you can probably register for them anywhere throughout California. I personally registered for some in the Bay Area and um, the different workshops to give us ideas of ones that might be helpful here locally. But but I would encourage you, if you have an interest, to um, scan the other workshops that are available throughout the state as they are being held virtually mostly. Okay, so if you're looking to enhance your, your skills, um, think of training for a di different occupation and don't have the funds to pay for that training. You can search the training institutions that are available on the ETPL list or educational training provider list that's available in CalJobs. And our partner, um, I think here in the uh, Santa Maria office is Equus Workforce Services. They can tell you more about the training that's available um, for them, and they can help um, pay for some of these trainings that are available in CalJobs. So if you notice um, the green check mark under the center of the screen right here, where it says eligible for financial assistance under the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act program, um, our partner Equus here in Santa Maria, they're the ones that service this particular grant. And so um, they can provide funds to help pay for these particular schooling that are available in our area. Now, this doesn't necessarily ref reflect the trainings that are available here, locally, but it looks like this for those that are available in Santa Barbara County. I would encourage you to um, contact Equus Workforce Services for more information on um, how they can possibly pay for those trainings um, in the future for you, okay? Employers. Employers are welcome to use the system to post job opportunities. And again, it's free for employers to use CalJobs. So a lot of times, um, You'll find jobs in CalJobs that you won't see on other sites, especially for our employers that are particularly um, CalJobs uh, handy and they know how to uh, locate workers in the website and they're comfortable using the system. Um, it's free for them. So a lot of times you'll find um, postings on CalJobs that you won't post for any, anywhere else because of the fact that it's free for employers to post their jobs on our website. Um, the other nice thing is that CalJobs um, filters in from websites like Indeed, Monster, and Snagajob, like I mentioned before, and they pull them into CalJobs. So not only will you see the CalJobs only postings and job orders there, but you'll also see ones from these other websites that do charge employers to have those job postings. So I always like to tell folks to start in your CalJobs account before you hit Indeed or Monster um, or snag a job first because you might get a few additional hits plus CalJobs pulls from those sites eight times a day. Um, so you'll get an updated look at what they have available on their website within CalJobs. And then what will happen is when you click the link, if you decide to apply to one of those jobs, it'll take you to that employer website in order to complete the application process. Okay. Retrieving your username and password, it's pretty easy. You just click on the forgot password link. Um, and then if you forgot both your username and password, you can choose option three to retrieve both. Um, and so then it'll reset your account and you can click submit. Um, and for anyone who's interested in receiving the PowerPoint um, from today's training, um, please let me know and I'll be happy to email it out to you. At this time, for the folks that did join us, if you guys have any questions, feel free to, free to unmute yourself. No, not at this time, but thank you for this. Um, I was 
I'm from Goodwill Mission Services and I work with AB 1111 and I do the Cal Jobs part and I was really like just you know a refresher and I do it all the time but something new and then um, it's actually helping me with my other program and helping um, individuals with disabilities and looking for jobs so that job section was very helpful so I was going for one thing but it also is helping my other stuff so thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. So make sure to set up the virtual recruiter. And also, um, I don't have it here on the screen, but my email address is herbert.via, um, just like the, the name on the screen here. So herbert.via at edd.ca.gov for any further questions. If something pops up in the near future, um, please don't hesitate to, to email me as well. Or I can, like I said, I can send you the PowerPoint. Um, I can even send you a virtual recruiter cheat sheet. But essentially, once you get a job that produces some results in Cal Jobs, just scroll down to the bottom of the screen and hit save, and the virtual recruiter automatically pops up for you to go ahead and save that um, job and set it up to run once a day. So that way you get messages in your inbox. If any new jobs come that you qualify for based on the, the information that you put that was part of that original search, it'll go to work for you. So it's a really nice feature that um, is built into other websites too, but it also works really well in CalJobs. But there's just a little um, requirements up front in order to get that set up. Okay.